Here is the Packard Bell airframe dual monitor workstation. So this uh, was a purchase at Target, but this is just a quick setup. Uh, it came with three little boxes inside. Um, the monitor is 43 inches total, but it's 21.5 inch uh, for each monitor. You will get the power cord in one HDMI for each mo each monitor, and uh, that's that's the box. So it has a quick start guide. That's what you get. There's a picture on that quick start guide, which is easier. So this is the base. So three boxes came. One is for the two monitors, and one is for the base. So here's a quick. Uh, setup of the base you do have the again the guide so with the base um oh here i'm just going to show you there these are the two monitors that came with two chart two power cords and of course two hdmi and this is the base so you will know right away which one is the top or bottom that's where it is just look at the picture it's easy uh you will then grab the tower and then there's screws that came of course with the package so there's two of them um one for the uh, eight screw little screws for the monitor but this is for the base the base tower so you are just gonna use the hex um that came with it very easy just fasten it um there's hold or holes already it's lined up and then just make sure it's um tight enough that's the first step and then next would be visual like the picture so here it is so all you need to do is it's already assembled so you don't have to assemble it so just um fit it in and then it should fit fit easy because it's already um installed all you need to do is at the back you just have to push to pull that lever there and then tighten to the right loosen to the left so you can have your uh, desired height and then that's the one I was talking about and I'm just going to show you how it moves um, so you can adjust your two monitors or two screens. There's also visuals, um, pictures of what you can do to adjust or for the adjustments. So very easy. It's already, again, it's already assembled so you don't have to assemble it. That's the lever to loosen or tighten. So you can have that, again, desired height. And also, again, there's that manual that will show you. It's a very small manual, so you, you would need like glasses if you need one. And then from there, it's time to put the plate for the, mo for the monitor. So you can mount it, you can mount it to the arms. So there's, there's the plate. And again, there's screws that came with it. So it's very easy. Just align the screws and tighten with the included Phillips screwdriver. You're going to do it twice because you have two monitors, of course. And then once you're sure it's tight enough, go back to the, the mount and go to one of the arms. All you need to do is just fit it in. So you fit it in and there's a lock that came with it. Just screw the lock in. There it is. So very easy. You don't need a tool to, to lock it in. You just uh, tighten it. And that should hold 
one of your monitors. So the base holds both. You just have to make sure you're in the right angle. Here's the second one, um, just quickly showing you as well. It's the same process, quick screw and screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver that came with it. No special process for the next monitor. It's going to be the same, tight in it. And then same way, you're gonna unscrew the lock and then mount it in. You have to slide it and fit that both two holes together to lock it. And then screw the lock. And that should be it. Um, you can do it like this, so it's in the box. You can, you can fit it like this or you can So that's the most normal setting or setup and then you can do it like that as well or like this and then the last part would be to connect the power cord so each of the monitors has the power cord so power cord and then each monitor has each of them has hdmi so you if you're using a pc usually pcs have more than two eight uh, uh more than one hdmi so you just have to find that slot in there at the back of your pc uh for a laptop you might only have one hdmi if you're using a laptop so you will need like um hdmi uh dual connector you would have to buy it separately but since i'm using a pc i have two hdmi slots there that i use and then it's both connected, make sure the power um, cord for each monitor is on. And then there is a switch at the back. So you're gonna just push it, push that button. You know that it's on if it's in blue, red is turned off. And here it is, it connected right away, but only one monitor. So what you'll need to do is you go to your um, start and then type display and go to the mo the monitor settings. You leave it there. Um, at the very beginning, you would have to just click uh, detect because um, at the start, it's just gonna detect one and then you click detect and it's gonna be a couple minutes. It took me a couple of minutes for it to detect that there's two monitors. After that, you don't have to do anything. You can just change the settings, but it will detect the two monitors and then it will then um, power up both monitors and it's up to you to set up the settings to either show the same or to extend it or you can use both monitors monitor one for one app and another the other monitor for another app so that's it